When Sigma males seem to be pushed to their breaking point, do you ever wonder why they maintain such unwavering composure? As guys, they belong to a special group that traverses life outside of traditional social structures. Sigma guys do not typically exhibit exploding rage, in contrast to their alpha and beta counterparts. However, their method is both calculated and effective when they choose to exact retribution. Instead of giving way to emotion, Sigma men focus their energy into deliberate movements that frequently catch their opponents off guard. To ensure that any act of retaliation is more than simply a spontaneous outburst of rage, but rather a well-planned action that serves their long-term objectives, their technique entails a cool-headed inspection of the circumstances. Because it contrasts with the more obvious displays of rage that many men exhibit, this deliberate approach to retaliation frequently leaves people perplexed. When it comes to exacting retribution, Sigma men are skilled at deception and recognize the value of a well-thought-out strategy. As a result, their methods are not only successful, but also frequently overlooked until it is too late. Nine things that happen when a Sigma male takes revenge. Let's get started. Is revenge a common path for Sigma males, or is it an exception to their usual calm demeanor? One might wonder. Sigma males, often described as the lone wolves of society, are known for their self-reliance and independence. They are the enigmatic introverts who prefer solitude over socializing in large groups, and peace over unnecessary drama. In the realm of conflicts, they typically choose the path of least resistance, seeking resolution rather than retaliation. They don't see conflicts as battles to be won, but as problems to be solved. This approach saves them from the emotional drain that often comes with engaging in conflict and allows them to maintain their inner peace and tranquility. But what happens when a Sigma male decides to take revenge? It's not their go-to response, but when pushed to the edge, even the calm and composed Sigma might consider it. But here's the twist. Their revenge isn't your typical eye-for-an-eye eye retaliation. When a Sigma male resorts to revenge, it's a far cry from the impulsive actions that might be expected of other personality types. Instead, it's a calculated strategic move, driven by a deep sense of justice. They don't act out of spite or anger, but from a place of ensuring fairness. Their revenge is not about causing harm, but about restoring balance. It's not about winning a fight, but about standing up for what they believe is right. Their unique approach to revenge goes hand in hand with their overall personality, reflective, strategic, and non-confrontational. They don't resort to loud, dramatic showdowns. Instead, they use their intelligence and strategic acumen to ensure that justice is served. So does a Sigma male's path inevitably lead to revenge? Not necessarily. Revenge for them is not an instinctive reaction, but a carefully considered decision. Their preference for peace over drama remains, but when they do choose the path of revenge, they tread it in their unique, calculated way. When Sigma males opt for revenge, it's a calculated strategic move, not a rash decision. So, what does a Sigma male's revenge look like? Is it a sudden explosion or a slow burn? Well, to begin with, the idea of revenge for a Sigma male is not about a quick and thoughtless reaction. It's much more complex and calculated than that. It's a strategic game of chess, not a brawl. A Sigma male's revenge is a meticulous plan executed with precision, leaving no room for error. You see, Sigma males are not the type to confront their opponents directly. They are the masters of psychological warfare, preferring to use their minds over their muscles. Instead of physical confrontation, they use subtle tactics to undermine their opponents, slowly chipping away at their confidence and resolve. What makes it even more intriguing is their patience. Sigma males understand the value of time. They are willing to wait and wait and wait until the perfect moment presents itself. They don't rush into things. They're not impulsive. They take their time to study their opponent, understand their weaknesses, and then strike when the time is right. This strategic approach to revenge makes it almost impossible for their opponents to anticipate their moves. Sigma males are like the silent predators of the human world, lurking in the shadows, waiting for the right moment to pounce. What's more, they are not interested in causing unnecessary harm. 
Their revenge is not about causing physical pain or emotional distress. It's about asserting their position, defending their space, and maintaining their dignity. It's about making sure that the other person understands they've crossed a line and that there are consequences for their actions. In the end, it's important to remember that Sigma males are not vindictive or spiteful. They don't seek revenge for the sake of revenge. They do it as a last resort when their personal boundaries have been violated and they feel the need to restore balance. Sigma males' revenge is a strategic game, not a physical fight. It's a game of intellect and cunning, a game where the winner is not the one who shouts the loudest, but the one who thinks the smartest. Silence is a Sigma's strength, but how does it play into their revenge? It's a question that's as intriguing as the Sigma male himself. Let's delve into it, shall we? Sigma males are known for their silence and secrecy, for their ability to exist on the periphery, observing but seldom participating. This silence, however, is not an indication of passivity. Instead, it's a testament to their mental strength, their ability to think before they act, and their preference for solitude over social chatter. When it comes to revenge, this silence takes on a different hue. It becomes a weapon, a strategic tool. You see, Sigma males are not ones for melodramatic displays of anger or open confrontations. Instead, they prefer to keep their plans close to their chest, to plot in the quiet, and to keep their intentions hidden until the very last moment. This makes their revenge almost impossible to predict or prevent. They say revenge is a dish best served cold, and for Sigma males it's served in absolute silence. A Sigma's revenge is not about creating a spectacle, it's about achieving justice, about restoring balance, and they do so in a way that's as quiet and unassuming as they are. There's no fanfare, no grand announcement, just the silent execution of a well-planned strategy. This silent execution only adds to the enigma of Sigma males. Their unpredictability, their ability to strike without warning, keeps people on their toes. It's like a game of chess where the Sigma male is always several moves ahead and his opponent is left scrambling, trying to figure out his next move. In the world of Sigma males, actions indeed speak louder than words. They choose to let their actions do the talking, to let their revenge unfold in its own time, quietly and effectively. And in doing so, they prove that silence is not just a sign of strength, but a weapon. A weapon that's as powerful as it is quiet. In the world of Sigma males, silence is not just golden, it's a weapon. What happens after the revenge? Do Sigma males bask in their victory, or do they simply move on? This question leads us into the aftermath of a Sigma male's revenge. Unlike the stereotypical image of a revenge seeker reveling in the misfortune of their adversaries, Sigma males don't take pleasure in others' pain. Their motivation for revenge isn't rooted in a sadistic desire for suffering, but rather in a strong sense of justice. They see an imbalance and strive to correct it. Their revenge is not about enjoyment, but about restoring equilibrium. Sigma males are typically loners, individuals who march to the beat of their own drum. They aren't interested in the drama that often comes with interpersonal conflict. Therefore, when they decide to take revenge, it's not to create a spectacle or to derive pleasure from it. They do what needs to be done, and then they move on. They prefer to leave their actions in the past, not dwelling on them or allowing them to cloud their future. They understand the importance of learning from the past, but they also recognize the danger of living in it. For Sigma males, revenge is simply a chapter in their story, not the entire book. Once the chapter is over, they turn the page and start a new one. Sigma males are strategic, calculating, and self-reliant. They don't seek validation or approval from others. Their satisfaction comes from within, from knowing they did what they believed was necessary. So, after executing their revenge, they don't bask in their victory. They don't seek applause or recognition. They simply continue on their journey, maintaining their self-reliance and independence. In the aftermath of revenge, Sigma males don't wallow in triumph or regret. They continue to live their lives according to their own rules, their own standards. Their focus is not on what has been done, but on what is yet to come. They know that life is a journey, 
and they are always moving forward, always looking ahead. For Sigma males, revenge is not an endgame. It's just a means to an end. Does revenge change the Sigma male, or does it reinforce who they already are? This question is as enigmatic as the Sigma male himself. Sigma males by nature are introspective and independent. They are the lone wolves of society, preferring solitude over social gatherings and self-dependence over reliance on others. But what happens when this introverted archetype embarks on a path of revenge? Do the emotional ripples of this journey alter their fundamental nature, or does it simply reaffirm their inherent traits? Revenge is a powerful emotion. It can consume the mind, distort the perception of reality, and stir up a storm of conflicting emotions. For a Sigma male this can be a daunting experience. Unlike their Alpha counterparts who thrive in the face of conflict and confrontation, Sigma males prefer tranquility. They are the calm amidst the storm, the silent observer in a world of noise. Thus the emotional impact of revenge can lead to a profound period of introspection for a Sigma male. During this introspective phase, Sigma males might question their actions and their motivations. They might scrutinize their decision to deviate from their peaceful path and delve into the chaos of vengeance. But amidst this self-reflection and self-doubt, something remarkable happens. The Sigma male, instead of succumbing to the emotional turmoil, rises above it. Revenge does not alter the Sigma male. Rather, it strengthens their resolve to remain independent and self-sufficient. It reinforces their belief in their own abilities and their capacity to navigate through life's challenges independently. This journey of revenge, as tumultuous as it may be, serves to reaffirm their inherent traits rather than change them. So. Does revenge change the Sigma male? The answer is no. It merely throws them into a whirlpool of self-reflection, out of which they emerge stronger and more resolute. Revenge may be a deviation from their peaceful path, but it doesn't change the essence of a Sigma male. To understand a Sigma male's revenge, we must first understand the Sigma male. This is an individual who is self-reliant and values solitude. He operates outside the traditional social hierarchy and doesn't seek validation from others. His actions are driven by his own values and principles, not societal expectations or norms. When it comes to revenge, the Sigma male is no different. His approach is as unique as his personality. He doesn't react impulsively or out of raw emotion. Instead, he takes a step back, calculates his moves, and executes his plan with careful precision. It's a chess game for him, where he strategizes every step and anticipates his opponent's moves. This strategic approach to revenge does not mean that the Sigma male is vindictive or malicious. Quite the contrary, he prefers to avoid conflict and confrontation, but when provoked, he doesn't shy away from standing his ground. His revenge is not about inflicting harm, but about restoring balance, about setting things right. The aftermath of this revenge can vary. Sometimes it's a subtle shift in the dynamics of a relationship. Other times it can be a significant change that leaves a lasting impact. But whatever the outcome, the Sigma male remains undeterred. He does not revel in his victory nor wallow in defeat. He simply moves on, back into his world of solitude and introspection. The impact of revenge on the Sigma male is similar to his approach. It's calculated and minimal. He doesn't let the act consume him or change him. He remains true to his nature, independent, introspective, and elusive. In conclusion, the Sigma male's approach to revenge is a reflection of his personality, strategic, calculated, and independent. It's not about seeking validation or exerting dominance. It's about standing up for his principles and maintaining his integrity. The Sigma male's revenge, much like the Sigma male himself, remains an enigma wrapped in a riddle a testament to their complex and elusive nature.